Welcome to Real Estate in the Low Country. Joan Kelly is back with me. And last time you were here, Joan, we kind of teased a little bit about maybe what's going to be happening in the market, some trends in the market. So share with us what you're seeing and what you have learned recently in your travels around this great country of ours. <laughs> sure, sure. So when when I travel, uh, I love hearing what's going on in, in, in other areas. And we're starting to see in other parts of the country where there's there's been a bit, of a bit of a shift that starts. And, you know, normally we're a little bit behind that, you know, yeah. lagging. Uh, but what we're starting to see already in the statistics for this year, year to date, um, listings are down year to date almost 14% compared to last year. Okay. Um, under contract pending are down almost 27% Interesting. from last year. And closed homes, sold homes are down uh, 25% in, in our market in general. So still a very strong um, seller's market, but we're starting to see the evidence that the higher interest rates yeah. and um, and just I think pricing in general are starting to, to dampen that a little bit, but um, nothing to to get too uh, con you know overly concerned about. Right. But I do have advice for sellers that um, you know over the last year we would see houses come on the market that were priced way above yes. the most recently sold very comparable. aggressively shall very we say. aggressively yeah. <laughs> and and they got away with it right um i think we're at a point now prices are still high but um i would follow your realtor's advice and i would stay a little more in line with what the most recently sold um pricing is because um what we know is that if you start out too high in pricing ultimately you'll end up selling for less and right. you're elim you're eliminating people that you know might be able to be very highly qualified for your home right. and so um I, I wouldn't go tens of thousands of dollars above the most recently sold comps yeah so uh, that's that's kind of the the advice that i would give well and don't you think too that if something is maybe priced a little too aggressively and it sits for a while, then people are like, oh, what's wrong with this house? Because everything is going so quickly, why is this one sitting there? Yeah, and, and that's that's what we're seeing is that houses aren't selling in 24 to 48 hours. Not, right. I mean, some are, yes. if, if you're priced appropriately. And um, depending on price point, we're still seeing uh, some of that, but you may be only getting, you know, we're still getting multiple offers also, right. but you might not be getting 10, you right. may be getting two or three. Right. So it's it's just a little bit of that cautionary, you know, yeah. uh, take a look at that. And and if, a mark, if your house is on the market a week or two, you really need to be thinking about, do I need a price adjustment? Yeah. Very good advice. <laughs> so um, we're going to move into your philanthropy because I know that's a big part of your business. Sure. And you just had a wonderful red day. Yes. And did a really pretty large donation. Yeah. Tell us about that. So I had mentioned on an earlier visit that uh, earlier in the year we crossed over that 2000 home sold threshold and yes. to commemorate that we wanted to do a donation and we had the public get involved with giving nominations for local charities and we narrowed it to the top three which were God's Goods, um, Bluffton Area Community Association and Bluffton Self Help and then we went out and had the public vote again and ultimately um, Bluffton Self Help was the winner and all three great organizations Absolutely. so we love the opportunity to get their messages out yeah. and um, we went to visit Bluffton Self Help and uh, present the check and see you know they're doing amazing things for they local really residents in need um, and then also in uh, May every year Keller Williams offices across the world closed down on the second Thursday in May okay. and uh, agents go out into their local communities, give back and, and um, locally we had agents at the Habitat for Humanity build on Hilton Head. We had agents at CAPA, the um, Child Abuse Prevention Association. Yes and then um, agents in Bluffton at the Bluffton Boys and Girls Club. So um, they had us working to get their facility ready for summer campers, yeah. and all those organizations are very, very worthwhile Absolutely. Um, programs, and we were excited to be able to, to give back and participate. Sure. Well, thank you for the great advice, and also thank you for everything you do in the community. It's really great, and it's always good to see you, Joan. Thank you. It's great being here.